As you can see, Link and Zelda have made it outside of the tower safely. Now Ganon's tower is going to collapse. Naturally it's going to collapse inward because Ganondorf thought that Link and Zelda would be trapped inside the tower. That's why the tower collapses inward rather than collapsing outward. But Link and Zelda made it outside, they're safe, now they can, I don't know, get married and live happily ever after. Or maybe not, you know... Zelda... It's kind of hard to imagine Link and Zelda, you know, getting married because... They'd have to deal with the whole Sheik issue if that was the case. I think that would be an impediment to any sort of Link and Zelda relationship. All that remains of Ganon's tower, just a couple of blocks of bricks. And Zelda and Link look at each other, Navi apologizes for not helping in the fight. And what was that? A mysterious sound from inside the rubble? Zelda looks worried. I think that means I should be worried. What? Oh, don't tell me Ganondorf's still alive. Ganondorf is still alive. And he morphs into its ultimate evil form of Ganon. Ganon. No subtitle needed. It starts off by knocking away the Master Sword, which is bad news. That means the only way you're going to be able to fight Ganondorf, or not Ganondorf, to be able to fight Ganon, not Ganondorf anymore, now it's Ganon, you're going to have to use Vigoron Sword, the Megaton Hammer, Thanks for the help, Navi. His weak point is his tail. They want to roll underneath his legs. That's my general strategy. And then pack his tail from behind. Using either your sword, the Megaton Hammer, and I have seen people use the long shot. Actually, the long shot is probably easier because it's harder to miss with the long shot. You'll notice I'm missing every now and then when I use my uh, sword. Well, can you forgive me for missing? It's hard to see. You, you saw right there. It's Ganon's body is in the way. the last boss fight of the game. Very, very tricky of the game to let you think that it's over, and then they pull out another boss battle unexpectedly. If you want a real challenge, try doing this boss fight while wearing the iron boots. Now that Ganon has been hurt, we're just going to leave him alone for a while, pick up the Master Sword, and then rejoin the fight.
Round two of the fight is identical to round one of the fight. Well, basically identical. Ganon, you'll notice, he's now walking on his hind legs, so we can't hit his tail. What you have to do is hit him in the face with a light arrow. Then he's going to stand like that, and his tail goes down so you can hit it. That's your strategy. Hit him in the face with the light arrow, circle around, and hit his tail. Much longer now. Now Ganon has been defeated. Zelda is using her magical sage power. Well, is it her magical sage powers or is it her magical triforce powers? She's probably using the power of the Triforce of Wisdom. And Link is using the powers of the Triforce of Courage to infuse the Master Sword with power so he can defeat Ganon for once and for all. Okay, not for all, just for once. Ooh, nasty. So now the six sages are all going to work together. Now that Ganondorf has been weakened, the six sages are going to work together and seal him inside the sacred realm. Ooh, not the sacred realm. They're sending him inside the evil realm. Yeah, that sounds like a much better idea than sending him inside the sacred realm. Open up the void to the evil realm, and Ganondorf gets sucked inside. You curse you, Zelda. Curse you, sages. Curse you, Link. When I get out of here, you're in big trouble, mister! <laughs> <laughs>